Hello there. Welcome back to the channel today guys with our weekly viewing of Marvel's new series as we ponder the question together what if I'm your host Ellie Moses and today we are getting right into it today the title of this episode is what if Ultron won and yes it looks like we are continuing off last week's ending teaser and we are wasting no time getting right into the episode but right before or as we start the episode I'd like to say two things number one Thank you for all the support on last week's episode. We hit 3.2k views. I know the like to dislike ratio was a bit iffy. That's because um, it gets onto my number two uh, point where um, I'm, I would like to say I know my comments about Captain Marvel were a bit biased. And to all my Captain Marvel fans out there, I'd like to say this. It doesn't matter what you think! No, no, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. I had that in store all week, but yeah, it was, I just gotta stop laughing about it. No, nah, it was great interacting with all of you in the comment section down below. There was like a 55 comment thread where um, I was going back and forth with a couple uh, subscribers or viewers and we we're talking about power levels, Captain Marvel Thor, and it was great. It was great. It got so late. I had to go to bed and I was just like, Let's call a truce, let's call a truce. But it was great interacting with all of you guys. And please, let's do the same again this week. Let's comment, let's like the video, and subscribe if you enjoy as well. Let's interact again, and I cannot wait for this episode. But yeah, thank you all so much for the support. And this this series is doing well on my channel, and I love you so much. So God bless. Let's get right into it. I'm so hyped for this one. I'm so hyped. If the watcher's heart's broken, then this this this, this one gonna hurt. This one gonna hurt. <laughs> yo yo yo! Hawkeye got that Harry Potter invisibility cloak. Damn! <laughs> he going full. Oh oh! Now he going full Legolas on them. <laughs> Not cool, guys. Oh! Clint just lost his cybernetic arm. <laughs> Peace to the mind uh, realm. Oh. Tony Stark created Ultron. But Ultron only saw one path to peace. Use the powers of yeah, man. Yeah. We all know the story. We all know the story. <laughs> it looks like, um, judging by the desolate wasteland at the beginning, it looks like when Ultron said boom in Age of Ultron. Yeah, this is the effects of that boom. <laughs> he dropped, he dropped it. <laughs> Damn. That's like the fourth time Tony Stark's died in this series. Four or five. I've lost count. They've killed him off so many times. And is that is that David Spade voicing Ultron? I don't know if it's they've toned down his voice. I'm not sure if that's him. I, I didn't check the credits properly in the beginning. But I love David Spade's voice as Ultron. I, it doesn't quite sound like him. I don't know if I'm wrong. But yeah. You're too late. Oh. Ultron just did a Skynet. He just did a Terminator. Judgment Day, baby. That's what he did. <laughs> Yo! Ho, oh, ho, ho, yes. Fascinating. Uh, uh, okay. Yo, my man Thanos just... just That's a straight assassination of... Okay. Damn. Oh, so this is the teaser we got at the end of the book. I see. I think a lot of Thanos fans might be disappointed. Yeah, I'm not feeling the... I'm not feeling the Ultron voice acting. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, but I'm not feeling it. I know, it, it doesn't sound as menacing or imposing. He doesn't command the screen. I know it's animation, but still. Oh, there goes the Guardian. Oh, there goes Korg. Oh, everyone dying. Damn, Ultron is literally taking over the universe. Listen, Skynet. I've seen the killer robot movie, and I gotta say, I really don't think it needs a sequel. You know what? I agree with you, Captain Marvel. I agree. <laughs> Yo, she took him straight down to Xander's core. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Oh man, you guys got the mouth. You know what? Told my Captain Marvel fans, she fought valiantly. I like her there. She's yeah. Shout out Captain Marvel. Shout out. Oh. of his universe, Ultron ascended to a previously unattainable level of consciousness. Damn. He became aware of the remaining I see you. That's awesome. <laughs> there are universes beyond my own. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Ultron just realized the multiverse exists and he's just like, I'm gonna take her. <laughs> well, I took out one universe, now that others prepare. <laughs> This is the first time I think we've ever seen the Watcher, like not composed even as he usually is. Like horrible. even he's shocked. No. Is the last hope really Clint Barton and <laughs> Natasha? <laughs> oh boy. I love the subconscious battle between the Watcher and Ultron. Oh, look. If we want to take down Ultron, we need an AI that can combat his code. Yes, I know, but it's not here. It's right there. An old Hydra base in Siberia. An old, uh, what is that, an acronym? He's a man, or at least he was, and he is going to help us wipe out Ultron. There's still hope. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I found you for my purpose. I'm really liking the color grading of this episode. It's very vibrant. <laughs> Arnim Zola was a Hydra scientist who infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D. in its infancy. Best S.H.I.E.L.D. IP. I guess the Zola code is so ancient or like so old that he can infiltrate Ultron or I don't know, Ultron with all six Infinity Stones. <laughs> what if Zola just does a com like that AI Zola just does a complete shift on him and decides he wants to take over the world then. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like Natasha with that shield. Kinda badass. <laughs> Shake decapitating robots. <laughs> Cap. Got that Clint Barton slow mo, baby. <laughs> They're really doing the reverse endgame here. <laughs> they did the reverse endgame. <laughs> really? At least he's just not splatting to his death. At least he's going out in a blaze of glory with his arrows. <laughs> pretty badass. But I'm pretty sure she could have lifted him up maybe. I don't know. Neat. That looks nice. So I'm guessing Natasha's... Is she the last surviving... I'm guessing there's more humans on Earth, but... Last surviving superhero. It does not appear to be within the observable universe. Then where is he? Bro, my man's... In... I... I had it. Where is he? You know what this kind of reminds me? Like, the color grading kind of reminds me of when Dr. Strange went to battle Gormangu in his film. <laughs> I don't understand. This should not be possible. Oh, but anything is possible in multiverse. <laughs> Just laying the foundation for Spider-Man No Way Home. Anything is possible, baby. It's like, there you go. There's your explanation. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> The watch I said, stop this crap, bro. I'm just, I gotta, I gotta join. <laughs> Put me on the team, coach. Make the sub. <laughs> oh, whoa, the, 
Is that like a Galactus hit? Bro, this is this episode is off the chains crazy. Yo. I feel like they're utilizing the infinity stones way more here than they did in the actual um Marvel films. Like showcasing their true power. <laughs> no one can stop me now. The only gripe I have... Oh, is, are we just ending there? Oh, no. My only gripe with this episode, I'm really, really loving it, is that um, the voice acting of Ultron. That's my... <laughs> We got it. Living the dream alone in a prison of my own making ever since. Oh, so a bit of connective tissue between the other episodes now. Need your help. <laughs> Multiverse of madness, baby. <laughs> no, another cliffhanger, man. Also starring Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay, any more post credits? No, we got no post credits. Say no. Oh, uh, let me know in the comment section what you thought of that episode, guys. That was one of the shorter episodes. I think it was 31 minutes, but taking into account credits, about 26, 27. We finally got to see my boy, The Watcher, who's on this side of my uh, background here, <laughs> get involved. It was a pretty crazy episode, really fast-paced, but I'm, hope I'm guessing we're going to get a continuation now, and that's where the episodes start to align. Um, Ultron as the main villain, what if you want, and now he's just basically take over other universes and they're basically just powering through it powering through it <laughs> you know other universes getting affected and finally the multiverse cracky <laughs> realizing that the watcher is watching over him you know there's someone else or like there's not the just one universe with natasha um and clint barton as we found out and i guess obviously they really they glossed over or like didn't how do i explain it like they rushed through in terms of like because you got to understand that these are short episodes and they rush through obviously what happened to the earth and what the other survivors happened and it just like yeah it just you have to just buy into that this is in this reality it's just clint and natasha left and i really like clint and natasha and this was obviously did the reverse end game but yeah i'm not gonna talk anymore let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of this episode and we'll discuss in the comment section down below together um i really enjoyed it i thought it was the best looking episode so far and yeah really um a lot of a lot of like what the f isms in terms of like a lot of stuff happening the multiverse Ultron getting all six Infinity Stones, basically doing the Darth Maul to Thanos. Yeah, absolute insanity. So, yeah, as always, guys, stay tuned. If you've enjoyed, like, subscribe, and we'll meet up again next week as we ponder the question again, what if?